time to show that lower half some love. Today, join us for a 10 minute workout that targets those legs and butt. All right, you guys, we got Z and Susie here to help us get through the workout. We're just gonna start with an easy lower body warm up, hopscotch. You remember this from the yes. play days, okay? You start on one foot, you land on two, and you alternate. All right, so it's hard to alternate sometimes if you don't have that coordination right away. Just practice it, take your time. The whole purpose of this is just to get that lower body, the lower legs, ankles, shins, calves, everything warmed up. And it gets that cardio stuff. Yeah. Nice fun. Work. I know, and it's fun, <laughs> yeah. right? Okay, good. <laughs> awesome. Last couple seconds here. Beautiful job. Three, two, one, and relax. Good. Next is gate swings. So you're gonna have your feet about shoulder width apart for this one. You want your toes slightly pointed out. You're gonna go down into a squat. Use your hands here to push those knees out. Come together, add a little hop, and land it. Good. Get that stretch at the bottom. You're really opening up the groin. You're lowering those hips down to really warm up the glutes, the quads. Good. I like to add a little crisscross to get some. Ooh, of fancy. course you do. I like that, Susie. <laughs> That's an advanced move. You guys got that in ya? Go ahead and get that cross in. Couple seconds here, last three, two, and one. Good. So I like how that gets the heart rate going yeah, yeah. and it gets the legs really working, okay? Ooh. Now we're gonna start in on a little lateral jump squat, okay? So you wanna have about one foot in the middle of your mat, one foot off to the side. Feet are about shoulder width apart or a little wider. You're gonna go down into a squat. You're gonna launch off your feet, land on the other side. Good, so this is explosive. This is a plyometric move. It really requires a lot of strength. So if you need to, you can leave one foot and land soft on the other without leaving both feet at the same time. But leaving both is really hard. You guys feel it? Yeah. Oh yeah, couple more seconds, almost there. In three, two, one, and relax. Woo, woo, quad should be burning a little bit. Oh yeah. Okay. Back to the single-legged stuff. We're gonna go single-legged lateral hop. So now, you're on one foot and pretend as if you're hopping over an imaginary line. You guys, get that lateral work Ooh. in that lower leg. We don't yeah. do enough of this. Really That's tough. Nice. That's right. This changes up your body. It's a game changer right here. Good, and then switch, other side. Felt the fire going through that calf oh, yeah. too. Yeah. Good. Keep your arms involved, okay? You never wanna just have your arms hanging down inside. Think very, very athletic-like. Nice, Susie. She's adding a little dance move to it, too. I love it. Shame Last shame. couple, and relax. Good job, you guys. Ooh. Okay, next we're gonna go into a little squat, hold, and tap, okay? So feet are gonna be together. You're gonna squat it down. Make sure your back is flat here. Keep your chest high, hold the squat. You're gonna tap back with your right leg. So tap back and four. You're holding a squat, and now you don't want a lot of weight on that back foot. You're just gonna tap it gently. Lengthen it back, whoo! So you're isolating one side right yeah. now. Good. Really firing up the glute with the press mm -hmm. through the heel. Yes, Susie, exactly. Keep the weight in the heel and switch, okay? Together and go. And the balance, you guys feel that? Yeah. Absolutely. My balance is challenged on these ones because oh, yeah. anytime you're doing one side only. You gotta work on that balance. Keep your hips down low. Keep your chest up high. You're looking great. And breathe. And breathe. Thanks for getting to breathe. That's right. Three, two, last one, and come up. Nice. Woo! Okay. Good I'm All feeling right. it. Next is you're gonna solely work on those glutes, the little lateral sides of the legs, standing dirty dog. So you wanna stand, you're gonna balancing on one foot a little bit. Bend that knee a little bit and then raise that leg up, okay? So you're gonna squeeze that hip. Squeeze it. Okay, you're stabilizing. Now you're gonna feel through your obliques a little bit here too and your stabilizing side as well. You can do this one on all fours as well if you wanted to be on your hands and knees. This is kind of fun though because we're up high so it makes us use our obliques a little bit more to stabilize. Beautiful. And it's testing the balance yeah. once again. Exactly. Good, and let's switch. Go on the other side. Pick up that knee. Absolutely. So lower body work, you always want to get in a lot of lateral work as well as linear work 
and focus on using those hips a lot because that's your powerhouse. Your glutes, good. That's it. Burning up a lot of calories. I'm sweating. Yeah. All right. Last couple, you guys. I'm starting to feel a little burn. Feeling it. Burn it out. Last one. And relax. All right, shake it out. You guys ready for round two? Let's do it. Let's do it. The ladies are ready, okay? So one foot's in the middle. Lateral squat jumps. Modify it if you need to. We're going hard here. This last round, you're warmed up. You're ready to rock and roll. Let's go. Yep, bring it home, guys. Bring it home. You only got 10 minutes to fire out what you got in those legs. Keep it going, almost there. That's it, Z, I love hearing that breath come out of you. I do that just for you. I love oh, it. Yeah. Three, two, one, and relax. Woo, Woo. Nice. legged oh, I'm lateral starting to feel the sweat. I'm feeling it, let's go. Side to side, single legged. Pretend that that line is there. Even if you got your mat here, and you go on and off your mat. Great way to visualize. Work on those fine motor skills, right? Oh, yeah. Use that balance and switch. Other side. These ladies are great, they stick with me. How are you sticking with me? You sticking with me? All right, keep it going. Side to side. Looking good. You guys feeling the burn? Yeah. I got my two rock stars here today. Show us how it's done. Good, last two. One, and relax, beautiful. Oh. All right, some isometric work now. Working on those quads and glutes. Isometric means not moving, stabilizing, go. That's it, really lengthen, tap, just tap. Good, slow it down even, you guys. Whoa, Whoa. Whoa. Harder. changes up your life right there. Good, last one, and switch, go on the other side. Hold that squat. Make sure your back isn't hunched. You guys don't want to look like this, right? Mm -hmm. That doesn't look sexy. Keep that chest high. Good form. Creating that strong, healthy body. <sighs> Lightly tap. Awesome. Woo. See that? My balance got challenged there. Good. Last one. And relax. Oh my gosh. Woo. That one kills that. me. That one yeah. kills me. Okay, Woo. standing dirty dogs. Let's go, ladies. Bring it up. Remember, slight bend in the knee. All right, slight bend in the knee. Really allows us to work on that glute and those hips. I feel that in my obliques. Don't you love that? Yeah. I love that. How you can just like maximize focus the exercise. In. Yes, I like to almost hold it just so I focus in. Absolutely, I love that, Z. Giving it that pause. And switch, other side. Pick it up. Good, body is warm. Feeling good and your balance yeah. is challenged, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's it. I put my hands up here just for balance reasons, but if you wanted to bring them down, you can here. It's nice you can feel the muscles working. Mm -hmm. And even that stabilizer leg, you guys yeah. should feel it. Right. And the leg that's stabilizing a lot too. Last couple seconds here. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. So that kind of got our heart rate coming down oh, yeah. as well, but still working. Let's start in a couple stretches to finish off the workout. And the reason that we do the stretches is because it's setting you up for a good recovery so you can come back and do this workout again soon. It's important to lengthen out all those muscles that work. Do you guys feel good? Yeah, that's great. And it's something that you need after that workout. Yeah, another balance pose. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And then going and switching. Exactly. Everything is stimulated. Your body might be shaking a little bit. And that's yeah. when you know you got a good workout in. Yeah. Breathing it out. And it's good to squeeze the glute of the side you're stretching to get a deeper Great stretch tip. to the quad. Great tip, Susie. Squeezing that glute is gonna help open that hip flexor up. Yeah. And that quadricep, beautiful. Okay, now come down to the floor, guys. Finishing with a pigeon pose. Start on all fours. This gets the hips, the butt. You're gonna cross one leg behind the other. At an angle, lengthen it down, slide that leg back, then try to come down to those elbows. And just hold this stretch. This gets right into your hip and your glute, which is key. We worked a lot of those muscle groups. Those are the muscle groups that stabilize our back when we're doing those exercises. Breathe it out. It feels so good. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good release. And switch, come on up. Bring it to the other side. Lengthen it back nice and long. 
Remember, you want to hold these stretches for anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. So if you didn't get enough, go through these stretches one more time. Breathe it out. Let that heart rate come down. Embrace that nice workout that you did for yourself, making your body healthier and stronger. Strong legs. That's right. And relax. Yeah, ladies. Way to show them how it's done, job. you guys. How fun to have these guys do it too.